Since we just uh, celebrated Veterans Day, I want to remind everybody I'm a two-tour Iraq War United States Thank combat you. veteran. I want to start off by saying I want to thank the board and more specifically Dr. Kern Oduro. Last time I was here, I had mentioned um, multiple investigations in which nothing was done, no one was held accountable. And I want to add one more to that list. The day after um, the last board meeting, I, I sent 51 screenshots of harassment, bullying, name calling uh, towards my daughter. and. I followed up with uh, Dr. Oduro two days ago, and uh, nothing has still been done. Yep. And uh, the students that spoke at your last board meeting uh, are the ones running the accounts, harassing and bullying my daughter. And I sent him evidence of this. Uh, so uh, he reminds me of, uh, I I'm a big uh, Quentin Tarantino fan and a movie called Pulp Fiction. Uh, in that movie, there's a, a character played by Harvey Cartel, very smooth, very smart, and uh, uh, knows all the right things to say, charismatic, and uh, he's called in to clean up the dead bodies. Uh, and it just seems like the people that are supposed to be protecting our children are more worried about protecting themselves. Absolutely. And um, more worried about getting this money. Yep. From this presentation earlier, uh, one key thing stood out to me, which was equitable outcomes. Yep. Yeah, what's yep. that? Absolutely. I'm all for equitable opportunities, meaning whatever we need, whatever that student needs to succeed, I believe we should give 110%. But that's not what equitable outcomes are that's equitable opportunities. There's a huge difference and I hope and pray that you all dig into what those differences are. Because uh, from what I understand of equitable outcomes, is the outcome for everyone is the same. And that's not how it should be. We're a meritocracy. We get what we deserve, what we work for, what we earn. And that's how this country was built. Um, I didn't have a speech prepared this time, but I did also want to speak on um, the fact that obviously against the uh, mandatory vaccines, I, I, I've said, trust the science, show me the science. This is an experimental gene therapy. It's not even a vaccine, but it's an experiment. Uh, and why is, why is that? When do phase three trials come out? You know, like every other vaccine that's been mandated has gone through phase three clinical trials. Does anybody know when those are, are due, are done? 2025. So if the, if the phase three clinical trials aren't done yet, this is still an experiment. And the CDC panel that approved five to 11 year olds, as I predicted at the last meeting, um, they said, one of the panel members said, we have to start sticking this into the kids to find out what the side effects are. Dr. Rubin, thank you very much. I'm gonna end with this. I'm a big fan of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. While he was alive, he, he, he commanded that he be called Reverend, not Doctor. He held that um, title in more respect and more honor than Doctor. And, and from his letters from Birmingham jail, he said, we are legally and morally obligated to follow just laws. Conversely, we are also morally obligated to not follow unjust laws. You all are our representatives. We trust our children, education, and now lives, considering this vaccine mandate, that's coming. 30 seconds. We're asking you all to do the right thing. And the right thing is usually the tough thing to do, to stand up and fight for what is right, to fight against this tyranny that has taken over our country. I did not lose many Marines to sit here and see what is, what is happening without my voices being heard, without our voices being heard. Thank you for your time.